just wanted to give a shout out of a word of hope. During this pandemic time, it's hard. A lot of emotions are changing and hospital policy is changing. And I really feel for all the moms who are pregnant right now, trying to figure out and navigate all the changes. I feel for all the workers that are in the hospitals working during this pandemic, it's a very hard time to not have the supplies you need, but also to have that heart that cares and serves for everybody who comes in. But I have been up and down myself too. I've been part of that kind of worried and stressed side. But this week I found a way to have a lot more peace and hope. And I found that through reading my scriptures and through prayers. I think of the scriptures in the Bible that talk about peace. The Lord gives us peace, not as the world giveth us. And that we can have peace in all that we do, even in times that are scary and times that are changing and trying. So I just want to give that word of advice out to you that I have worked to find peace in my day-to-day -day interactions by just having faith in the Lord and knowing that I can do all the hand washing I want, all the germics I want, all the covered in protective gear I want, and still catch the virus. And that it really is up to me doing the best I can, but coming to peace. So if you're a pregnant mom out there, I want to suggest you maybe limit how much social interaction you have with the news so that you can find that bubble peace around you and that you can just enjoy these days of your pregnancy. And if you're worried because you're in deliver soon, reach out, talk to your care provider, talk to the hospital. You have lots of options before you please reach out and learn what those are so that you can use them. If you're a care provider or nurse that's working in the hospital, I am grateful for your service and your work right now and for the difficult situations that you have been put in, but that you have still kept up and kept working at this time because you know that it's important. So basically, just want to say we will get through this. We'll get through this together as we reach out, support, and serve one another but we have to step back and find peace and hope in our Lord and Savior and not peace and hope in the world and all of the things that they say. So just take a moment to meditate. Look outside your window. Spring is here. Enjoy those little things. Let them come to your heart and give that chance of that hope to sprout and to grow into something that fills you with confidence and assurance. It will be okay. We're going to get through this together.